What is going on today, guys? Today we are back out on the river. I'm in the boat. And today we're gonna be magnet fishing a brand new area that I have never been to before. Today we are in Manitowoc, Wisconsin for the very first time ever. Of course, I found this area on Google Earth. I found a lot of juicy looking spots and I figured we had to give it a shot. I got a couple different spots that I would like to poke around at. And the very first spot we're gonna start at here today is gonna be this railroad right here behind. Me. I'm pretty excited today, you guys. It's a brand new spot. The sun is shining. Let's get right down to it today. Let's start tossing our magnet and let's see if we can find anything. All right, you guys, we are back out on the boat. We're in an all brand new city. We're going to be hitting some brand new areas. And today I have my large 360 degree magnet to help us. I'm going to start off tossing around next to this railroad bridge here. I can see a big old factory behind it this way. And who knows what the shoreline used to look like back in the day. As always, there is just no telling what we're gonna find. Let's get right down to it, start tossing around and see if we can find anything today. Let's see how lucky we get or if we don't get lucky at all. Can we get something on our first throw? I might already be feeling something. I don't wanna speak too soon. No, okay, I'm speaking. I'm speaking too soon. I already feel something. Very first throw of the day. Oh, this could be a good sign, you guys. We got a couple things on there. Heck yeah, dude, looks like a little scrap wire. Right off the bat, I can see at least a couple railroad spikes on there. This one here is pretty straight looking. This one's definitely gonna be resellable. Then I seen this one here on there. That one's super bent up, and I really don't know if the bent up ones are still as valuable as the straight ones. But that's a second railroad spike, and I'm pretty sure I thought I saw a third one on there, but this one is missing the head. Three flipping railroad spikes on that sucker. And then we had this thing here. Holy smokes, there's so many clams on there, so much gunk and mud, it's hard to even tell what the heck this thing is. Aha, bingo, I took the clams off. Check that one out. That is 100% some kind of railroad clamp. I don't know the exact use, but I find these things all the time next to railroads. Other than that, you guys, I thought there was just a bunch of Debris, oh no. This little thing on there, what's this? Some kind of, is that one of those old cigarette containers? Ah, uh, I definitely don't think so. It looks like an old metal container, but I think it's just some kind of metal cutoff piece. Piece of scrap. All right, you guys, first throw of the day, and we're already finding tons of stuff here. Whole bunch of railroad evidence here, you guys, which is definitely to be expected. These things are worth cash money. Oh man, that's a good sign right there, you guys. Very first throw. I don't know how old this railroad bridge is, but it looks pretty old, man. And there's a couple of them in this town too. So we might have to check all of them out. Oop, I think we got something again. Yeah, that one felt kind of heavy. Yeah, definitely something on there. Something longer. What the heck is this? Hold on, let me get out of the out of the shade here. We're hiding underneath the bridge. Whole bunch of debris on there, you guys. Looks like maybe a couple big old bolts, some big old nails. But look at this flipping thing. I almost thought it was like a crowbar or some kind of pry bar at first because it gets real thin down here and like real thick on this end. I definitely don't think that's what that is, but I have definitely found a couple of these things before around railroads, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna guess it has something to do with the railroad. The old mystery piece, let's keep tossing. Oh, what the heck was that? Gunshots, they got a, they got a shooting range around here or something? Oh, there's another one. That's loud. Yeah, somebody's shooting over there. <laughs> Here we go. So far, I swear, it has been every throw, I think. I don't think I've missed one throw yet. There's always something on there. Ooh, 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 that's a little heavy. What the heck is that one? Don't, first of all, 
Look at what it is. We cost the old bull's nose ring. And then it looks like we had just a big old massive bolt on there. And again, this sucker almost for surely came off of the railroad. Some more railroad cash money, stacking up the cart one toss at a time. Oh, there's actually a couple things on there, you guys. And the first thing I see, look at that, man. There's a super old lock on there. It looks like an old master lock, but wow, there's no silver or anything left on there. The old dial combination. How long you think that thing's been in there? My goodness. You ain't putting no combination in on that one ever. And then look at this, I swear to you, this is, yep, I know it is. It's another one of those pry bar looking things. I don't know, man. Definitely not a pry bar, but it's gotta have something to do with the railroad, right? And check it out. We got us another railroad spike. This one here is a little bit curved, so it might not be worth as much, but still. I think this is like our third railroad spike of the day. I'll take her, baby. <laughs> Oh, I hit something. Is that moving now? Or no? I think it is. Oh, I got something here. Oh, um. Oh my goodness. Well, I thought I had something there. Holy little metal flakes. And look, at there's one little bolt stuck on there. This thing's gotta weigh at least five pounds of just little metal shavings. Now I'm really, really, really hoping that this isn't the entire way along the river. Because if that's the case, we're gonna have a hard time sticking on to stuff. Oh, yo, look at that, man. I swear to you, that might just be the straightest railroad spike I think I've ever seen in my whole life. That thing was never even smacked on once. Not sure if you guys can really see it that clear, but it looks like on the top of this railroad spike, I see a stamp and it looks like I see an M and an S. Super cool, you guys. This one's in like perfect condition. I just snatched me up something here. What do we got? Why does that feel so heavy? Woohoo, look at that funky looking bracket thing. The only thing that I can assume or come up with right off the top of my head is obviously some kind of railroad piece, but there's also factories, what looks like up and down both sides of the river here. So there's a lot of other stuff going on in this area. Oh, look at that, man. There's actually like a stamp on there. Five, three, five, five or something like that. Pretty cool, you guys. At first it was just a random old bracket, but now the fact that it's got like some kind of stamp on there makes it even cooler. That just could turn this thing into a collector's item. All right, you guys, we spent about an hour at this railroad here. We poked around a little bit and we did come up with a couple things here. But now we're gonna keep poking down the river here and we're gonna see what else we can come up with. Oh, ho, ho. first throw over here. I already stuck me something. See the graffiti on the wall over there? There's some action back here. Yeah, I'm literally pulling something. My very first throw, that's always a good sign, dude. What do we got here? Ooh, look at this thing. Holy cow, that's actually pretty crazy looking. Got a big old hook on there. Let me clean this thing off, it's super muddy. 
Yeah, look at that, man. That's pretty cool looking. This is definitely like some kind of, what the heck you call those, like a turnbuckle tensioner piece. But I've never seen one like this before, you guys. It's got like a loop on this end. I'm not sure if that opens and closes or not. But then this end here, that's definitely a big old hook. Look at what it says, high test. Super cool, you guys. What the heck do you think this thing is used for? And what do you think it actually came from? Did it come off of this telephone pole? The big old hook piece. I just hit something all of a sudden. I'm not kidding you. And I just had to wiggle that sucker out of the mud. Here it comes. Yeah. What do we got? We are what seems like pretty much in the middle of nowhere. But if you look through the trees here, I do see what looks like maybe an old shop building. A couple of them, actually. This one here, I really don't think is much. Maybe just some kind of broken off pipe piece. But then we had this one on there, you guys. And this one definitely looks like it was snapped off. I'm assuming this was probably supposed to be a full circle. We got a bunch of threads on the inside there and then like a couple holes drilled around the outside. Whoa. What in the world do you guys think that thing is? Oh, I think I might be sticking something. I thought that was maybe a rock or something at first. No, I got something here. Yeah. Dude. Oh my goodness, is this like some kind of hammer? Look at, you can definitely see like the handle on there or what's left of that wooden handle. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's definitely not a pickaxe head. These are both flat like hammer head ends and there is 100% some kind of old wooden handle still sticking off of that thing. What in the world do you guys think that is? It's definitely some kind of tool with a handle on there. If we're lucky, you guys, maybe we could get the rust all cleaned off of this thing and there might be some kind of stamp on here somewhere. Some way to maybe find out exactly what the heck this thing is. What a super cool find. I don't even know what this thing could be. Oh, I just stuck something again in like the same area that I just pulled up that big old hammer head looking piece, you guys. What do I got this time? A little muddy, let me clean that sucker off. Oh, look at what it is. We got us a railroad plate, which actually is kind of weird, you guys, because there is not a railroad anywhere where I am right now. The only railroad I can see is the one we just came from down there, which is really weird, man. Maybe this bridge used to be a railroad back in the day. You just never know what these areas used to look like hundreds of years ago. Super cool, you guys. Now we got us the old plate to go with the railroad spikes. And just like the railroad spikes having the stamps on the head, these railroad plates have stamps on them also. Check it out, you guys. Can't really tell what it says. S-E-C something. The old collector's items. Oh, yo, look at what's sticking off the end of there, you guys. Is that a, a Leatherman or is that just the old regular pocket knife? Either way, you guys, check that thing out. That's flipping cool and it still opens and closes. What do you think happened there? Did somebody drop this off of the bridge or did somebody maybe drop this off of their boat? Who really knows, man? And the way it looks, it probably really wouldn't even take that much cleaning up to get all of these pulled out and working again. Heck yeah, man. I think I'm pulling something. Feels a little heavier anyways. Uh, what the heck do we got here, you guys? 
first of all, this one kind of looks like some kind of smushed up can. Hard to tell what the heck's going on with this thing, but underneath all the rust there, you can kind of see some shiny flaking off under there. And then we had this thing on there, you guys. I don't know what the heck to think of that one. Some more cash money. Whoa, something slapped hard. Easy here. Easy, boy. We are right under this bridge, you guys. So this could be anything, man. I mean, anything from back in the day to new to dropped off a boat to thrown off the bridge. Who the heck knows? This is flipping heavy. I know that much. Oh my, oh my, oh my, that's heavy. Whoa, yo, look at this thing, you guys. Now that is an absolute monster. Look at this thing. 100% that is definitely a big old I-beam piece. And I would guess it probably came off the bridge. Now I don't know if they ever rebuilt this bridge at one point, so maybe this is part of the old bridge. Cause if it's part of the new bridge here, we might be a little bit concerned if we're missing half the bridge. That's a big old chunk of cash money. Oh, something hanging off of there. I couldn't really feel that one. Check it out, you guys. This one's definitely a bungee cord. But then I saw this thing on there and I really don't know what to think of that thing. Kind of looks like a nut or something with maybe some kind of cushion or like a washer on there. Couple little things on that throw. Definitely don't think you're strapping nothing down with this bungee cord no more. We only got one hook. Oh, something here. Something I snatched up. Whoa. Whoa. What the heck do we got here, you guys? Check this thing out. I don't know what to think of this thing. Obviously, I caught it by like some kind of metal banding on here, but this end is like extremely heavy. Ow, 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 that hurt. I don't know what to think of this thing, you guys. It looks like just a piece of wood under there. Who the heck knows what this thing came off of? Ooh, I got something. I just definitely clicked onto something real good here. Hold on. Is it gonna move though, or what's the deal? Oh, it is. It's coming with me. Here we go. Look at all the bubbles. Holy cow, you guys. There is something going on down there. Some kind of action. Whoa. Look at this thing. Is that just a big old bolt? And I think it is, you guys. It's like a big old bolt with a nut and a washer on each end. This thing is so big, it could be like one of those dumbbell lifting weights. Get a couple sets in. The one armors. <laughs> that thing is huge. <clears throat> I think I just might be dragging something here. I didn't feel that click at all though. Oh yeah, ooh, couple things on there. What do we got? Oh, that's all one piece there. Whoa, look at that. I thought this was two separate pieces, like a bolt and a, and a washer or something, but no, this is all one piece, you guys. And if you look down at the bottom here, it definitely looks like it might've been snapped off. So there might even be more that goes to this thing. So at first I was thinking maybe an eye bolt, but now that I see it snapped off, I don't know. There could be more to it down there. That's pretty cool, you guys. And to go with it, it looks like maybe just some kind of bracket. Whoa, did you guys hear that? I heard that for sure. 
What is this? Something smackerooed right on there. This one here looks like another little piece of rebar or something, nothing too crazy. But this one, you guys, what the heck is this piece? Oh, dude. Is there some writing on there or something? I think so. Yes, there definitely is some writing on this piece here. You can hardly even tell what the heck it says. And I don't know if there's more writing on this side. Doesn't look like it. It looks like just this little piece right here. There are some numbers and stuff on there. I don't know what in the world to think of that thing. It literally just looks like some kind of doorstop piece. All I know is we definitely got to figure out what the heck that says. I think I just landed right on top of something or a whole mess of something down there. What is this? Oh, well, yeah, I'm tugging on something. Is it gonna come off or whoa? Yep, I kind of felt like it was gonna and it sure did. What the heck was that? Am I on it again? I might be. Oh, look at what it is. I can see it from here, you guys. It's a flipping big old tree branch. It's a big old tree. Yep, nothing magnetic about that. Oh my, that snapped pretty good. Almost too good. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Oh, I got it. Oh, look at this here, you guys. The more I stare at this thing, I am pretty sure I found something like this before, but I don't think we ever figured out what the heck it was. It looks like some kind of lever piece. I have no flipping clue, man. We're finding some pretty cool stuff out here today, you guys. It's always just so random. You don't know what the heck's coming up next. Oh, what the heck is this, man? It's been quite a while since I found something. What in the world is that? It's kind of smashed up here, but if I kind of open it up a little bit, I see some cords in there, like some wires for sure. Is that like some kind of alarm or something? It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, hold on. Oh, I think that straightens out. Oh, that makes a little bit more sense. Now you can see it better. What in the world do you guys think that thing is? There's definitely some electrical wires coming off of there. We got a red wire or like an orange and a green. And it looks like they're attached to maybe two little bells. I can't really tell. What the heck do you guys think this thing could be? I'm feeling something down there. It's coming up with me. Oh, it is too. Yeah, what do we got? Oh, look at what it is, you guys. We got us another flipping railroad plate. Pretty sure this is railroad plate number two for the day here. And if you look, we are underneath a giant railroad now. This thing is absolutely massive. And look at this railroad plate. Again, you guys, it does have some kind of stamp on there. That is so cool. Now, I don't know much about these numbers, but I'm guessing maybe you could figure out like the exact day that this thing was stamped and built. Railroad plate number two for the day. Oh, something snapped on hard. Did you guys see that? Almost flipping pulled the magnet right out of my hand. Oh, dude, look at, there's flipping writing on there. I can see that right away. C N N W R R. And then there's some numbers down here, 797. I can't quite tell fully what it says, but then there's even more writing up at the top here. It looks like some kind of furnace door 
or something. You can see like the hinge part on there. Wow, that is way too cool, man. Whatever this is, this thing gotta be at least like a hundred years old, no doubt. This right here is for sure gonna be a collector's item. What a find. Am I on something or what is going on? I'm like tugging on something, but I don't feel nothing click. Is that coming up or what is the deal here? I think it is. Dude, it is coming up. What is this? Oh my goodness. Look at what it is, you guys. I was wondering if we were ever gonna find one of these today. Check that one out, you guys. We caught us an entire bike frame. Or I guess I wouldn't even say the entire bike frame. There's not much left of this thing. What is that, duct tape on there? Yeah, I don't think that's gonna hold nothing together anymore. There's a name on there. Holy cow, I think I just wiped it right off. You can't even tell what that says anymore. The only thing I can ever think when I find just plain old bike frames like this is that this thing was probably stolen. It had to be chopped up for parts and then the frame was just tossed in the river. No handlebars, no seat, nothing. You definitely ain't riding that one too far. Oh, that felt like something. And it sure is. No, don't slip. Oh, I got it. <clears throat> yeah, it's coming up. What is this? Oh, I got it, you guys. Oh, look at that. Oh, there, wait a minute. Look at what I see, too. Oh, there's two things on there. Check it out. Whole bunch of stuff on that throw. First of all, we got a little tiny CO2 cartridge. That one there actually looks pretty tiny to the ones that I've seen before. And to go with it, you guys, check it out. We got us another railroad spike. But like I was saying with the curved ones, this one here is curved. I'm not sure if it's gonna be worth as much as a straight one. Pretty cool, you guys. Now, being that we're at a different railroad than we were the first couple railroad spikes we found, I wonder if this one might have a different stamp than the ones we found earlier. I have already lost count how many of these things we got today. And then last but not least, you guys, I thought this was some kind of rim, like a vehicle rim. And that is what it really looks like. But look on the inside here, like this little piece here is what is completely throwing me off. There's like a hook, almost like this isn't some kind of vehicle wheel. I don't know what to think of this, you guys. I don't see any spokes on there and I don't see where there would have been spokes except for this one little hook. Pretty cool. All right, guys, as you can tell, it is the middle of the night. I just got done editing this video that you just watched and I realized I completely forgot to do my outro. We found a lot of super cool stuff today. I think my two favorite finds are definitely that hammer type thing. I don't know what the heck that thing is. Whoa, is that a cop that just went by? I seen some red and blue lights. I swear somebody's getting pulled over on video. I don't know what that tool was, but it looks like a double-ended hammer or something. That's pretty cool. But you guys, that door piece, that little panel, I don't know what the heck you want to call that thing, but I did a little bit of research on it and you're not even going to believe this. This is crazy. At the top, it says August 18th, 1899. So I don't know if this thing was made on August 18th of 1899, but that is well over a hundred years ago, you guys. That's crazy. And then it said CNNWRR, and I believe that stands for Central and Northwestern Railroad. So it's something to do with the Central and Northwestern Railroad from August 18th 
$18.99. That is flipping crazy, man. Talk about history. Being that we found it right underneath that old railroad, I would guess it has something to do with the railroad, but it looks like some kind of door flat to me. And over my years of magnet fishing, that is not the first one of those type of things that I've found. So that is just super cool of you guys. That was definitely the find of the day. That was our very first trip ever out to Manitowoc, Wisconsin. And I think it went pretty good. We did a little bit of poking around. I really didn't stay in any one spot for too long, but I think we definitely have to go back. I'm gonna go ahead and get the heck out of here for today. It's getting pretty late. It took me all night to edit this video and I'm hungry. If you guys enjoyed this video today, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. And don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to stay tuned and I will catch you. Right back.